Shalom and welcome to my channel. I got myself a new toy. Remo Hobbies 116 scale short course truck. Uh, I've opened it already apparently. I took a video and it didn't film so it's open and this is what we get. We get our little 116 short course truck. In the box we also get an instruction manual and our remote. Now, our remote is quite bulky. We also get a charger. Uh, the remote is quite bulky, but it does have a few things that I do like, like it goes from left to right which means if you're a left-handed driver you can drive it left-handed there's a little button here that you can change your throttle setting like so for smaller kids so the throttle's a bit closer you've also got dual rate speed I can control the car so it will go a bit slower if I want to let a little kid drive it and needs four AA batteries which I'll put in in a few minutes when I take this thing out for a run and I'm not going to take this thing out for a run. The reason I'm not going to take this thing out for a run is because I've got two other cars. I've also got a monster truck and I've also got a truggy. I'm going to take this one for a run. Underneath we've got three cars exactly the same. Also comes in a buggy. The one thing I don't, didn't like about it when I took it out was bouncy bouncy. These shocks need oil, but you cannot put your oil in these shocks. So we have to replace the shocks. I would like these cars to come with oil sh shocks. That's, that's a bit rough. It comes with a combined ESC receiver brushed motor, lipo, battery, 1500 mAh, 2S, capable, and metal drive shaft, dog bone kind, they're not CVDs, and composite nylon, the whole car all round. I quite like it. The reviews are quite nice. I'll take it out for a drive and I'll get back to you. We might open up a little tub with these things. Bye for now.
Kamash. Well, I've been out with this thing. With this thing. It's a blast to drive. It's much faster than I expected it to go. On the brush system. The brush system is excellent. I didn't see any problems with it. A bit overheating after really pushing the car for about a quarter of an hour. Um, but I don't think that's an issue. I might put a fan in there. Other than that, the car is a bit unpredictable on jumps because of the bouncy, bouncy shocks. I have to replace those. I think that's a must do. I was looking at the car. I wouldn't upgrade anything. Anything that you would upgrade to a heavier drive line will break something else as far as I think. Unless you're turning this thing into a speed run, I wouldn't replace any of the plastics into aluminium. I think any aluminium put on this car will break something else. Not worth it. Stay with the original parts, especially if it's for kids. Uh, the one issue I had was with the short course. The short course truck, the body, doesn't fit quite well. The wheels touch. So on this side I've heated them up and pulled them out a bit so it doesn't touch and then I don't have an issue as you can see that side sticks so I wouldn't cut it I'll just heat it up and pull it out a bit so it's not very pretty but it works a blast to drive absolutely I'm gonna open up a league here in Israel hopefully people will join me I'm going to find groups of kids, different, different areas of the country and help them make a track and maybe get the kids to meet each other and race each other in different tracks, different locations, different kids. I like the idea. Hope you like these cars. They're a blast to drive. I was Cass, hope you enjoy my channel, like, share, subscribe, shalom.